हो गया All right, so uh, we also have decimal fractions, and that is where we are using um, decimal points. We have 0 0.5, we have 0 0.75. And you should note that when you have 0 0.75, we don't say 0 0.75. It's not done, it is 0 0.75. This 75 you see here is not 75 is seven five. So you take note of that in your when you are reading decimals. And then we are also we also have percentages like 50%, 75%. And you know percentages like this can also be written as 50 over 100. Those are also fractions. And then under common fractions, which we'll be looking at, we have the proper fraction and the We have uh, the proper fractions, and the proper fraction has um, the numerator to be less than the denominator. And then that is um, the numerator is the number up here. That is the numerator. And the denominator is the number below. So the number below is the denominator. And with proper fractions, we have the denominator to be greater than the numerator. And then we also have improper fractions. And then the improper fractions, the example here we have, we have 13 over five, we have 22 over three. You realize that for the improper fractions, we have the numerator to be greater than the denominator. So you realize 13 is greater than five. So this is an improper fraction. Then we also have like fractions where we have two fractions that that has the same um that has the same denominator you see here both fractions have 3 as their denominator so that should tell us that these two fractions are like fractions and unlike fractions have two fractions two or more fractions that has um, different denominators so this here, these two fractions here are unlike fraction because they have two different denominators. And we have mixed fractions. And mixed fractions contain both whole numbers and fractional parts. So we have three whole number, one over four, and we have two whole number, one over five. These are mixed fractions. So we'll look at... Um, Additions of fractions. The whole idea is that you understand the principles that govern the uh, operations in fractions. That is, is addition, subtraction, multiplications, and division. So when you understand these uh, principles, whichever form, um, whichever form the problem comes, you should be able to, you should be able to solve it. So we'll first look at additions of fractions. And we are saying that additions can only be added or subtracted if they have the same denominator. So if they don't have the same denominator, you need to change them to be the same so that they become what like fractions. So here, in order to change to have the same denominator, you need to find the least uh, common multiple. And then for the least common multiple, if um, some of us have forgotten how we get the least common multiple, um, I made a, I did something here to explain it further. But let's take this example here so that we'll explain how we get our least common multiple. Here we have one over two plus two over five, and we are asked to add it, to add them. We said our least common multiple here is 10. Okay, how did we get this thing? You realize that we have, we said least common multiple. So we first look at the multiples of two. And then the multiple of two, well, multiples of two here, when you multiply this one by two, we have two. 
two by two, we have four, two by three, we have six, and so on. So here, we have two by five, we have 10 here. You understand that? And then the multiples of five is five times one, five times one, we have five here, five times two, we have 10 here, and so on, it goes on like that. So we are looking at the least multiples that are common, the least multiples that are common to both uh, two and five. And we realize that the least, com the least multiples that are common to two and five is 10. It's 10. So we put our 10 here as our uh, LCM. Now, when we want to solve the whole equation, the whole um, problem here, 10, you realize that at the, when you are finding the multiples of two, at the point where you multiply two by this five, you had your, your least uh, multiple here of 10. So this five, this five will multiply the numerator you have here of one. So you have five multiplied by the one. Then this operation you have here, you bring it here, and then you have two, that is when you come to the multiples of five, when you come to the multiples of five, you have two by five giving us 10. So you take this two, multiply it by the numerator here two. So you have two by two giving us four. So you can equally say that this will give us five, this will give us four. So we have five plus four, and that will be nine over 10. So I hope that is clear for finding our LCM. And then, so this is the approach to finding it and then would we'll continue like that. So if you're okay, we'll move on to um, addition of mixed fractions. So with mixed fractions, we said that um, there are two approaches. First, you can either add the, you can either first add the, you can first add the, please excuse me, uh, one minute. One minute, uh, please excuse me. In the West Hello, I'm back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Please let's continue. So I was saying that we are looking at addition of mixed fractions. So you first add um the whole numbers you have here. So you add three plus two, and then you proceed to add the fractions separately. So here we added three and two and we had five. So your LCM here is six. And as we explained earlier, um, we have six here. And then the least common multiple here is um, six. So at point two times three, you have your, your least multiple for two. So you multiply your three by one, which will give us three. And then you add, you, this addition comes here. And then at the point three times two, you had your, your, your six. So two, two times two will give us four. So we have five whole number seven over six. And you realize that this is an improper fraction. You can change this. You can change this seven over six when you realize that six can go into seven once. So that one, you add it to five. That's one, you add it to this five and you have six and the remainder is one. So that one comes here. 
all over your denominator, which remains the same of six. Okay, all right. So we'll look at the other, other, um, the other alternative is that you add, the other alternative is that I see a hand up, but I, I was saying that let's go, note your questions down. Let's go through the slides. And then we would, um, would answer all your questions, okay? All right. So um, the other alternative is that you would first change the mixed fractions. You change this mixed fraction into whole numbers. Then you 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 add them straight away. So we have changed three over two, three whole number one over two, into uh, an improper fraction here. How do we get seven over two? Someone will ask that. So here you multiply this two by three. You have six. When you have your six, you add the six to this one, and that is seven. And then you maintain your denominator. You maintain your denominator of two. So you have seven over two. I hope you've got that. And then two whole number. 2 over 3 can also be changed to um, improper fraction. And that will be done by, um, you multiply your 3 by 2. You have 6. You add 6 to your 2. You have 8. You have 8. And then your um, denominator remains the same. So you have 8 over 3. Now, you would... Um, now add your fractions by finding your least common multiple. So your least common multiple here is six. And then with this six, two times three is six. So the three, that multiplies the two. You add that three to, uh, to seven. I think here, hold on. Yeah. Oh. Are you with me? So three times seven, you have 21. And then um, six, the three here, three times two, you have uh, six. So you multiply that three by, uh, by two, and then you have your 16. You have your 16. So when you add 21 plus 16, you have 37. And you have 37 over 6. And then you can change this 37 over 6 into an improper fraction. And that is 6 whole number 1 over 6. That means that this 6 will go into 30, um, 37 6 times. And there's a remainder of 1. And there's a remainder of 1, which is here. And then your denominator, which remains the same, which is six. Okay, so we'll look at subtraction. Subtraction also follows um, the same uh, rules where you need to find your least common multiple. So here, if you have three over four minus one over three, you need to find your least common multiple and you need to find your least common multiple, which is 12. And I realize that 12 can go in the 12 times three is, um, is 12. So you multiply that three by this three and you have your nine minus, uh, it is three times four that will give us this 12. So that's four times uh, this four is four. So you put, you bring your equation sign, which is minus, so you have nine minus four. And then you have five here. So five over your denominator, which remains the same. So if you are evaluating mixed fractions to that, um, subtracting mixed fractions, it also follows the same principle where you either, you either um, subtract your, your whole numbers and then later subtract 
your um, your fractions. You can do that, or you can change you can change um, the mixed fractions into improper fractions, and then straight away subtract your fractions as it is done here. So realize that in do, following that same principle, we're able to get 13 over 12. And then we changed it into um, a, a mixed fraction to simplify it further. And you know that 12 can go into 13 once, and the remainder is one, and our uh, denominator remains uh, the same to be told. Okay, so we will now move to uh, multiplication of fractions. All right. Um, first, uh, the principle here is that you first multiply top numbers. That is the numerators. You multiply them together and bottom numbers together. Secondly, you can cancel if possible. That is where there is a possibility of canceling out and then simply making and simplifying the uh, fractions better. And then uh, mixed numbers must be changed to improper fractions before multiplying. Here, you do not add, when you are dealing with mixed numbers, you do not add the, the whole, you do not multiply the whole number separately like we did uh, with the uh, addition, and uh, addition and subtraction. Here, you have to change your mix, uh, num your mix uh, numbers, the mixed fractions to uh, improper fractions before you multiply. Okay, so sorry, um, we are looking at an example here of uh, multiplication of uh, fractions. Assuming you have three over four times one over three, you simply multiply your numerators and then you have three here, three times one is three, four times three is 12. So you can cancel out, you have one over four, okay? And then when you are dealing with uh, mixed fractions too, you would have to change your mixed fractions to improper fractions like we have done here. And then with two whole number one over three, we had seven over three. And then you bring your multiplication here. And then we have three over two. So you multiply straight away where we have seven times three, we have 21. And then three times two, we have six. Okay. And then um, you can change this to improper fractions. Uh, so here you know that six can go into this uh, three times and then and then this can go into this three times, right? And the remainder is three. So the three over six, you can have three over six and then that three over six can be simplified further. So the three over six, when you cancel three going into six, that will be one over two like we have here. So it could have been three whole number, three over six, but we have simplified the three over six further to get one over two. So we have three whole number, one over two. Okay, so, and then where we said you can cancel if possible, assuming you have um, 14 over 15 times um, five over 21. Here you realize that you can cancel where possible. And then here, when you look at it carefully, you can cancel by, by looking at, uh, you say here, 14 over 15, five over 21. So when you use seven for 14 and 21, seven can uh, divide this two times, and then seven can divide uh, 21 three times. So we have two here, and then we have three here. And then uh, when you use five, five can go into five once, and then five can divide this also three. So you have two times one here. That is these two, this two times one, we bring it here. Then we have three times three, which is nine. And our answer is what? 
2 over 9. Okay. All right. So we'll now move on to division of fractions. So we are saying that assuming you have two fractions, we have fraction one and fraction two. You, uh, whenever you are dividing, the second fraction is turned upside down. That is a reciprocal. And then the division sign is replaced with multiplication sign. So you have fraction one all over fraction two. So you realize that we have fraction one, which will still be there. Then the division will be changed to multiplication. Then fraction two will be reciprocal. You know, the last time I was saying that every number, yeah, the reciprocal means that it's either be turned upside down. If it's a whole number, that means that the, the whole number will be uh, divided. It will be one over the whole number. But if it's a fraction, you turn the fraction upside down. The denominator comes up and the numerator goes down. Okay, so this is an example here. We have one over three divided by two over five. So one over three divided by two over five. We have your first fraction maintaining maintaining what it is. We have the first fraction maintaining its state. Then you multiply, you change your division to multiplication, and then you turn your fraction upside down, the reciprocal. You realize that the five is now the numerator, and then the two is now the denominator. After that, then you simply multiply uh, straight away. So you have five over six. Okay, so um, another, to divide the whole number to first, we have our whole number here divided by four over six. So for the whole number, you maintain your whole number, which is first, then you multiply it by the reciprocal of your fraction. You, you get it. So now six is now the numerator over four. After that, you multiply. And I was once telling you that when you have a whole number like this, it is all there's always uh, divided by one underneath. So this two is the same as two over one. But because the one is not very uh, significant here, you just most often it is not there. So this two times six over four is the same as telling me that two over one times six over four. So that will give us two times six all over one times four, which is four. I hope you understand that. And then we have 12 over four. We have 12 over four. And this 12 over four is the same as what? Um, four can go into... Uh, Four can go into 12 three times. So that will be three. That is not four, that will be three. So let's just, um, please are you with me? So four can go into uh, 12, how many times? Three. Please are you with me? So four can go into three. Uh, yes, can go into four. Yes, yeah. madam. Okay, four can go into um twelve three times. So this is the same as this, that would be three over one, which is the same as three. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's move on. So if you have um to divide a fraction by a whole number. This time, your whole number is the second, uh, the second number where you have the fraction being first. Where we have the fraction being first, so you maintain your fraction as it is. You change your division sign to multiplication, and then the reciprocal of your, the reciprocal of 
um, your whole number. Remember I said that the whole number is always divided by one. So when we say reciprocal, the one now appears and the one comes up. So you have one over 12. And that will be three times uh, one will give us what? Well, three over 48. And three will go into 48, how many times? 16. So you have one over 16 to be your answer. Okay. So assuming you have an example here, and you are asked to evaluate one whole number, two over three minus, and to bracket um, one whole number, three over four, uh, divided by two whole number, five over eight. So here, you need to um, change your all your improper fractions to, uh, sorry, all your mixed fractions to improper fraction for easy uh, simplification or sim easy computation. So here, when you do that, then you deal with uh, those in the bracket. So here we have um, changed them into improper fractions. And in our bracket, we have 7 over 4 times the reciprocal of 21 over 8, which is 8 over 21. Realize that we can cancel to make things simpler. So when you use 7, 7 can go here, 1, 7 to 7 once, and then the 21, 7 to 21, three times. And then we know that uh, when you use four here, four going to four once and four going to eight twice, you get it. So we have, um, uh, you have here one times two, we have two, and then one times three, we have three. So we have five over three minus two over three. And then now you can, Go ahead and then simplify further. Realize that um, this uh, like fraction because they have the same denominator. So the LCM here is three. I've explained how LCM is done. So I believe you understand why we have three here. So our LCM here is three. And then um, when you multiply, we have three here. I mean, when you more, uh, it's three times one, that will give us the three. So five minus two, that will give us, um, that will give us three. Okay, five minus three, that will give us, a uh, five minus two, that will give us three. So three over three is one. So your answer here is one. I know I left it there for you to do it. I hope you all had one or at least you were able to finish the solution. Okay. So now that uh, we have looked at um, fractions and the equations and how to do it, we'll move on to algebraic expressions. And then, uh, okay. So let's just move on to algebraic expressions. And then we are saying that it's a collection of letters and symbols combined with at least one of the operations. So you can have one equation, you have, can have two equations. When I say one or more equation, I'm talking about plus or addition, division. So assuming you have an, this is a typical example of an algebraic expression. So we can be asked to um, simplify this. And then if you have 5x plus 4 minus 9y plus 3x plus 2y minus 7. Uh, you should know that uh, these, um, you see 7 do not have any uh, letters attached to it. So these ones without letters attached to it, we call them constants. Because they are constant, we know that it is exactly 4. But we have 5x here, right? That means that the number here, we do, we, we do not know the exact uh, number that it is because we know that this 5 is multiplied by, this 5 is multiplied by a certain number we don't know, which is replaced by x. So this is a variable. 
we call it this x is a variable because we do not know what exactly it is right so it could be any number that is if we solve it to any number that you get so we have it's a combination of constants and variables, right? So if you're asked to simplify further, you need to group your like things. You know that we have some X and we have some Y's and we have some constants. So we we'll group our X together here. We have 5X plus 3X minus, we have 9Y plus 2Y and then we have our constant here, four uh, minus seven. Okay, so when we have a, you know that when you group your like terms, then you can apply your operations to those, the group that has the common uh, variables. So here, five plus three X is eight X, and then minus nine plus two is minus seven Y, and then four minus seven is what? Minus three. So you have evaluated your expression and you have simplified it to the simplest form. Okay, so assuming you also have another expression that is saying that what? Four uh, X squared Y plus five X Y squared plus three X squared Y minus two X Y squared realize that the common we have um, 4xy 4x squared y and 3x squared y which are common which are um, which has similar variables so you need to group them together then we have 5xy squared and minus 2xy squared which has common variables so you need to group them together so you realize that we have grouped them and then we have this 4x squared y plus 3x squared y. And that will give us what? 7x squared y. Then we have 5xy squared minus 2xy squared, which will give us what? 3xy squared. So we have also simplified that to the simplest form. And then I would like to explain for that. Assuming you have um, brackets, you can have um algebraic uh, expressions with brackets and this in this uh when you have um when you have a number outside a bracket that number multiplies everything inside the bracket so here with four x four x four into bracket x plus one you should know that this four will multiply x then the operation sign will come then this four will also multiply one. So you have here four X plus four, which is this times this, this times this, which we have here. And we have two into bracket two X plus one. We have two multiplying two X, which is four X plus two multiplying two, which is what? Two. So you group after that, then you group your, you group your like terms. That is, you have your X, 4x plus 4x, and then you have your what? Constants 2 and 4. Okay, so you have what? 8x plus 6. Okay, so for further uh, clarification or further explanation, um, I have some arrows here and that explains it further. You have 3a into brackets, a plus 4ab minus b. This 3a will multiply a here. This 3a will multiply this. And this 3a will multiply minus b. So when you multiply 3a by a, you have 3a squared. When you multiply 3a by 4ab, you have what? 12a squared. a squared because you have two a's here. 4a squared b. 12a squared b. And then you multiply 3a by minus b, and that will give us minus 3ab. Okay? All right. The same rule applies here too. So this 4 multiply the x, this 4 multiply the 1, 
and then these two will also multiply uh, 2x and these two also multiply 1. And then you have what? 4x plus 4 plus 4x plus 2. So that tells us how it is done. Okay. So assuming you have an example here, I had, uh, now that we have been able to do fractions and algebraic expressions and all that. So assuming you have some, okay, or you have some expression that has both fractions and you have variables to in there. How are you going to go about it? So you have x minus 2y all over 3 plus x plus 4y all over 6. The first point we should note is that whatever it is, these are fractions. You are adding fractions. So the principle under adding fraction is that you need to find what? The least common multiple. And the least common multiple here is what? 6. Okay, so our least common multiple is six. So six here, we know that at point three times two, that is where we have six. So that two will multiply your, um, your numerator. So I have the two here, multiply by the numerator here. Get it, plus six times one will give us the six. That is the multiple is six times one. That will give us six. So that one will multiply your numerator, which is x plus four y. You get it. Huh. So if you have it like this, then you multiply everything you have uh, in the brackets by the number outside the bracket. So we have two x minus four y. You get a two x minus four y plus one times x is x plus uh, one times four y, which is four y, all over what, six. Okay, so here you still go ahead the same principle, you group your like terms. So you have two x plus x plus four y minus y. And then you know that four y minus y is zero. So you have three x over six. And then 3x over 6, this 3 can cancel this 6, 2. So you have x over 2. So I hope that is quite clear and then straight to the point. And then we had some exercises I gave out. And then I hope that you all did it. And in doing it, it makes things a bit clear for you. And when we meet, when you have... Um, when you have uh, questions and you are ex they are explained to you, it becomes quite clear for you to better understand the whole topic. So this is a solution for the first one. I hope you had it right. You use the same principle here. Sorry, you use the same principle here. You change your mixed fraction, your, yeah, your mixed fraction to improper, you have it here. Then divided by this, you also change your four whole number one over three into a improper fraction. And then you apply, you solve each, um, you solve each bracket, each details in each bracket separately. So here we have seven over two plus seven. You solve it here, you find your LCM and then you have 7 plus 14 over 2, then your division sign, then your LCM here is 3, and you have 13 minus 9 here, and then here, 7 plus 14 is 21 over 2, divided by uh, 13 minus 9 is uh, 4, so 4 over 3, you have it here. Then now you have division, and you know that the division has to be changed to multiplication. And then your second equation is reciprocal. So you have 21 over two times the reciprocal, which is three over four. And then you have 21 times three, you have uh, two times four, which will give us 63 over eight. And that is the same as seven whole number, seven over eight. Um, I hope you all had it right. That would be very good if you had it all right.
So the second, um, the second question is about um, in a school where we have seven over 10 of the people who like mathematics, half of those people who like mathematics are girls. If there are a total of 240 people in the school, how many girls like mathematics? So first of all, you need to find out the number of people who like mathematics. Because they are telling us that um, half of those who like mathematics are girls. So first, let's find out how many people who like mathematics. So in a school, then they are telling us that seven over 10 of the total number of the school like mathematics. So seven over 10 times the total population of the uh, people will give us 68. Right? So having 68, then we apply, uh, we are told that half of those who like mathematics are girls. So you apply uh, half, that is one over two, times those who like mathematics, 168, and that will give us 84. So that should tell us that 84 girls like mathematics. Right. Right. Okay. I hope you all had that right too. So, yes, please. That's great. Okay. So um there's another expression here we said you should simplify. So this is it. The number outside the bracket you multiply it through by all the you multiply it by all the numbers and inside the bracket. So four times uh, two, you got eight T plus uh, four minus three T uh, plus uh, six. You know that this is negative three mm -hmm. times uh, negative two. So that will give us what? Positive six, right? So you have eight T minus three T. That is what? Five T plus 10. So we, we are done. We have simplified the expression. All right. So, um, oh, sorry about that. Um, sorry about that. Just, okay. So that ends it. This is your um, simplification. So here, you realize that assuming this was equated to zero, that is where you can go ahead. If it were equated to zero, you could have gone ahead and then equated to zero and find t. But it wasn't equated to zero. So you leave it where it is here. This is this is it. And you are done. So we are done with the slides and the solutions. And then if we have any questions, we we'll go and then look at them. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of you had it all right. That is great. That is great. That is great. That uh, is great. That is great. Good, 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 good. All right. So, um, would, um, I would leave the floor for questions. Yes, please. Okay. Um, my first question has to do with the. Uh, sorry, my name is Adam. Okay. My first question has to do with the the assignment. Okay. So, uh, the the B, which is the the in a school of in a school with. Seven out of ten. That's question. As mm -hmm. what? How how are we able to tell that uh, we are dealing with a multiplication of fraction here? That's my concern. Okay. <laughs> All right. You realize that if you are told that seven over ten of the people like mathematics, that means they are telling that seven over ten out of the total people, out of the total people, right? So if you want to find out um, uh, a fraction of a total number, right? A fraction of a total number, you multiply that fraction by the total number. Please, do you understand? 
Yes. If you yes. want to find a fraction of a total number, you divide that, you multiply that fraction by the total number. So here we want to find seven over ten of the total number of uh, 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 people in the school. That we want to find seven over ten over the of the total number, which is two forty. So you multiply your seven over ten by the total number and you get it. So this one sixty eight represents. Uh, seven over ten of of two forty. So that's off there. Seven over ten of two forty. The off there represent multiplication. Please, do you get? Um, do you understand that? Is it okay? <laughs> yes. All right. All right. So, um, there's one hand raised. Okay, so please, you can, uh, Bernard. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm listening. Ma'am, please, um, I just want to know how you were able to get the 168, yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, okay. Assuming you are not using a calculator, right? Yeah. Okay, so you see here, we have 7 over 10. Sure. Time 240. So here sure. you can even um 10 can go into 240. How many mm -hmm. times? 24 times, isn't it? Sure. So when you multiply 24 by 7, you should get 168. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sure, sure, sure. I get it. All right, that's great. Right. Thanks okay. so much, man. You're welcome. <laughs> sure. Any other questions? Hello, good morning. My name is Ellie. All right. Please, my... Please, um, you are not very clear. Can you come out a bit clearer? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I All can right. hear you. So my first has to do with the addition of fractions. Okay. Yeah. So the first example, the where we have them tested. 37 over 6. Okay, said, let, um, me, six. let me go back to it. You said 37 over 6. Let me go yeah. back to it so that we can. Thirty seven over 6. That is our first. Um... That's the first question. And the addition of mixed fractions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so he said six would go into 37. Okay. Six, um, that's six times. So yes. five times. So uh, meaning it will be left with one. Then we yes. add the one to the five times, making it six whole number. One over six. Um, here we have it here. Yes. That's its way. Uh, you are talking of the first one or the second one? The 37 over 6? Are you talking yeah, of well, this one? Okay. Here, I was saying that if you want to simplify it further, to have the 6 whole number 1 over 6, 6 can go into 37 once. You know that when you multiply 6 times 6, you have 36. So 36, mm -hmm. you have one remainder. So that remainder yeah. is here. The remainder is here. That is the one here. And your six remains uh, as it is. That is your denominator. So you have six here. So you have six whole number, one over six. Oh, you were talking oh, of another, no, or you are talking of the top one, this one? No, it's that same one. Okay, so you are okay. Is, that is subtraction of fractions. That's the next question. Okay. Where we have the Three whole number, okay, three over four. Yeah, this one. The okay. last, the answer was five over twelve. Why didn't yes. we continue further? That maybe five will go into twelve two times. But why? Why do we have to leave this just like that? Because some some of them will end up continuing further, but some we just ended this. So how would we know this one? We will have to end it there, or we will have to continue further. Okay, so you realize that this 5 over 12, 
it's a proper fraction. So you cannot change this one into an improper fraction. And you realize also that this one, when you when you if it were to be an, an uh, improper fraction where you have the 12, where you have the 12 being your numerator and five being your denominator, then you can change it into an improper fraction. Okay. You, you get it. Okay. But here you have five okay. over 12. When you, you can't simplify it further. Okay. Because okay. five, okay. we know that five will go into 12. Um, How many times? We know that 10 times. You still have a remainder of two. Where do you put it? Because this is a proper fraction. If it were improper, okay. then you can use the, you can change it to uh, what? Mixed fraction. Uh, fraction. Please, do you understand that? I can't hear you. Hello? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Yes, please. All right, all right. So I can see two hands. Um, Eremit. I see one Eremit, please. Good morning, madam. This is Eremit. All right. These are three questions, but my first question is, when you are changing the mixed fraction into um, proper fraction or improper fraction, is it proper or improper? <laughs> From the explanation you gave, when you are changing uh, a, mixed a mixed fraction, you get an improper fraction. When you are changing the mixed fraction to get an improper fraction. Yes. After, and you have the same denominator. Mm -hmm. uh, are you supposed to change the denominator and only uh, add or subtract your numerators? Or you still have to do the... Let's go back to... You are talking about addition of what? Improper. Addition of mixed fractions. Let's go to it so that I can address it properly. Um, okay. We are here. So now, your question, please. Uh, my question is... When you change the mixed fraction into improper fraction, mm -hmm. and you have the same denominators, let's say we have three, you have three whole number, one over three. Please, I'm changing the question a bit. You have three whole number, okay. one plus two whole number, two over three. You said three I'm, whole number, three whole number, one over three. Mm -hmm. And then you have two whole number, two over three. Two whole number, two over three. Okay. Now, when you change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Okay. Do you have to do the cross multiplication whilst you maintain the denominator since they are the same? Or Wait, you, maintain... you are dealing, you are talking about addition, isn't it? The addition, yes. If you are talking of addition, there is no talk of uh, cross multiplication. The reason I'm asking about cross multiplication is that mm -hmm. I see clearly from uh, when after changing, uh, when you change the, please, I want the second explanation, the second method. Okay, this one. Yeah, this one. When we okay. change, when we change the mixed fraction into the improper fraction, where we have the um, seven over two times eight over three. Mm -hmm. I realize by the denominators. Then after that, we still did a cross You said that you realized that what? We multiply or we find, we find the LCM of two and three. Yes. It's giving us six. Yes. Then I did a cross multiplication. Whereby we multiply seven by three and then two by no. eight. No, no. That, that is not the principle here. There was no cross multiplication. What happened was that um let's go back to our lcm so that you understand it better so you if you have the slide for this open i'm going back to i'm going to back to the explanation of the lcm so that you understand what i mean uh -huh. you realize that um the lcm here is 10 right are you with me? 
Yes, I'm with you. All right. The LCM here is 10. Mm -hmm. So the multiples of 2 are here. And at point 2 times 5, that is where you have your 10, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And the multiples of 5, at point uh, 5 times 2, that is when you had your 10, isn't it? Yes. All right. So when you want to do your addition, when you come to the first fraction, mm, when you come to the first fraction, that is the denominator is two. You look here. Okay, at point, when it was multiplying five, that is when I had the LCM. So this, this five, that is multiplying one. It is not this five. Okay. Please do you understand. Yes. I want you to understand the basic principle. So it is not this five that is multiplying this one. It is this five. You see, I maintain the blue. You see, they are all in blue. Yes, please. Yes, it is this five that is multiplying this one. And you have five. And then when you come to the second fraction with your denominator of five, at the point, sorry, mm -hmm. At the point where you multiply five by two, that is where you had 10. So it is this two, it is this two, right? That is multiplying this two. That's how you have four. It is not this two. Are you okay? okay. So let's go back with that, with that explanation and with that idea. Let's go back to where you were having. So here, we have your LCM of six, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So at when you look at the multiples of two and three, at the point where you multiply two by three, that is when you have your six, isn't it? Yes. So that three is what you multiply the seven. Then you have your 21. And then at the point where the multiples of three, at the point where you multiply three by two, that is where you have your six. And that two is multiplying this eight and you have your 16. Okay. You understand it now? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, but the reason, if I'm not lying, um, my previous teacher said something about this course multiplication. That is why I have that in mind and I'm asking. Okay, but with sure. uh, teaching me right now, I understand it well. It's mm -hmm. also a good that I have to follow. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, the, uh, my question, the second question on this same um, question is, now, mm -hmm. you see, we have separate denominators. In the case where you have the same denominator, what do you do? If you have the same denominator, you know that I was saying that if you're adding fraction, they have to have the same denominator before you continue. That is okay. why we had to go through all this LCM business. But if they are all the same, you go ahead and then, because that means that your denominator is three. Okay. Assuming that we have three, three here. Assuming yeah. we have three, three here, right? So here will be three, Okay. right? And, yeah. and you know that if they are all three, that means that the LCM is three. They are all multiplying one, one. That is at the point one times three, one times three, that is when you have your three. So you can go ahead straight away at seven plus eight because one times seven is seven, one times eight is eight. So instead of going through this LCM business, you can simply put your LCM here, three, right? And your numerator will be seven plus eight straight away. Assuming the denominators are all three. Same you applies to um, subtraction too. Yes. Addition and subtraction have similar um, uh, principles. Please, my second okay. question. All right. Second, there was a question. Can we please go to the, during the division, we have two whole number divided four over six. Division. Yeah, division. Okay. Okay. Not this one. This one, the next one, I think. This one. Please, um, at the final answer, we, we, we equate it to three, which uh, in your explanation, you said because it's over one. 
if you write the if you write your final answer as three over one, is it still correct or wrong? It is correct, but mathematically, the one is usually not. Um, other than that, we'll be counting our numbers one over one, two over one, three over one. That is not mathematically. You need to write it like this and make sense. Okay. Oh. Mm. Please, my last question. All right. My last question is uh, during um, multiplication. Mm -hmm. and, uh, during the multiplication, let's go back to multiplication. What? Okay. In the multiplication over here, um, when it comes to the um let me take it from the let's take it like the, the second line the second line after okay. you change and now we have seven over three times is three over two. two yeah now we don't find uh though we look for lcm but we don't multiply at the uh during the finding your lcm at the level what we did in the addition and subtraction whereby we find out that it was around maybe two by three or something that we got our lcm we don't use those values to multiply the uh, numerators again like we did in the addition. We go straight away to multiply our denominators and the numerators in multiplication. In multiplication, you don't do LCM. You, don't do LCM you simply well. multiply your numerators and then your denominators. So you see here, we simply multiply 7 by 3 and then 3 by 2. So we don't do LCM multiplication. All right, Mom. Thank you so much. You are welcome. So there are some hands raised here. Okay. Um, James. Madam, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much for, for saving our TNT today. <laughs> All right. That's uh, good. In your submission, you said um in our exam, are we going to talk about calculator? Are we going to use, are we be allowed to use calculator in the exam hall? Oh, well, 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 well. Um, that would depend on the, I think we would have to find out from Doc, but I, I believe that you may probably be asked to use that, but probably there will be certain uh, specifications. So okay. we would ask our exam officers, and then I'm sure it will lead to. Okay. So secondly, uh, last week we 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 did set set problem two set yes. problem. Yes. Yes. And I want to know if we we'll go further to the uh, three set problem, or you we'll end on the two set problems. Oh, well, it's the same um application that you apply to three sets problem. You get so it. There, could, there could be uh, questions on three set problems. So we can we can go ahead and, and learn the three set problems as well. Oh, you can go ahead and learn three set problems. But um, for now, I am not um, in the position to tell you whether three set problem is coming or three set problem wouldn't come. But what our advice is that you learn what you are given and it is to be good for you to, to learn uh, Further, you understand? So you yes, gain more knowledge. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh Emmanuel. I see your hand with Emmanuel Tete. Yes. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Okay. There are some questions on the chat box. If you can take notice of that, please. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay. Okay, I'm seeing Emmanuel, you're asking that if 5t plus 10 is equated to zero, how will it look like? Okay, if 5t is equated to zero, that means that we'd have to move, um, we we'll still have to group like 10, we'll have to move Emmanuel, are you with me? Would yes, have please. To, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. 
Okay, we, ha we would have to have, we have 5t is equal to what? Minus 10, right? And then we would have to find our t. So if you have 5t plus uh, equal to minus 10, then you divide uh, each side by five so that you have 5t over t is equal to minus 10 over, over five. You get it. So you cancel out and your t will be equal to minus two. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. Any other questions? Um, Felicia. Yeah. Good morning, Miss. Good morning. Um. Okay. Um. My question has got to do with the addition of mixed fractions. Okay. Okay. Um. Earlier on, someone asked. Um. When we were simplifying the second option, the second solution, mm -hmm. where we have the twenty-one plus sixteen over six, where the answer is three. Yes. Yes. And please, so he was asking whether when you were simplifying the so, um the seven over two plus three, eight over three, whether it was a cross multiplication or something, and then you went ahead and explained that it wasn't cross multiplication, but then you from the answers you get from the LCM, that is when the whole calculation starts. So I want you to go over for me a little bit around the twenty one plus sixteen over the six. Okay. Okay. Here. Are you watching your screen? Are you talking yeah. about this part? Yeah, the second one, please. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um hold on. All right. So here I was saying that I was saying that assuming you have your LT LCM. You have your LCM, uh, your multiples of two, and then multiples of three. So if you are with me, let's have the multiples of two. We know that multiples of two, we have four, we have six, we have eight, isn't it? And the multiples of three, we have three, we have um, six, we have nine, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. So at... um. You know that we know that um, two one times one times two is giving us two, isn't it? One yes. time and uh, two times two is giving us four, right? Yeah. Yes. And then two times uh, three is giving us six. Yes. So you note that three down. That three okay. multiplying uh, multiplying and. Uh, two is giving us six. And then when you come to multiples of three, we know that three times one is giving us three, isn't it? Three yes. times two is giving us, what, six. Yes. Okay, so we know that. So when you come to your, to your calculation, right? You realize that uh, having the LCM six here, when you consider seven over two, where you have, your, LC, uh, your denominator being two, at the point where you multiply two by three, that is when you have six. So that three, okay. that three, mm, you multiply okay. it by seven. Okay. You multiply it by the seven, the numerator, and you get 21. Okay. And then you come to your second fraction, where you have eight over three. And you realize that when you, with the multiples of three, at a point where you multiply three by two, you have your six. Yes. So that two, that two, right? You multiply it by eight and you have your 16. Okay. Do you understand? So yes. there's no cross multiplication here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it looks like that, it makes it easier, but there are certain situations if you apply that, you may get it wrong. You need to understand the principles 
that uh, governs these things so that wherever however the question is formed you understand the principle when you apply it you will definitely get it right okay. and then hello hello all right um right. so please um Please, there is some music in the background. Kindly mute it. All right, we have James. James. Um, please, uh, Brad, listen, you are muted. So, James, um, James, can you ask oh, oh, your question? Oh, oh. Okay, madam. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, please. Uh, I just also want to throw more light on the this particular question, the addition. Okay. All right. So for me, how I understand it, um, when we find the LCM, that is six. So we have seven over two plus eight over three. Then we find how many times two go into three. That is uh, two go into six, sorry. So how yeah. many times two go into six? So the, that number, you use it to multiply the numerator. That is seven. So Good. two going to six, three times, times seven. So we'll get exactly. 21. So how many times two, three also going to six at the, uh, at the LCM? So mm -hmm. three going to six, two times. So two times eight will give you 16. Then you can go ahead and add your 21 plus 16. That will give you 37 over six. Thank so, you. That's brilliant. OK. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you so much. You're okay. welcome, so um, Sheila. Aku. Okay, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Please, uh, uh, my question has to do with the uh, x minus 2y plus x plus 4y. X, um, that is the algebraic expressions? Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> Where were we? Algebraic expressions. Okay. Uh, it's, no, that one. There is a particular question that I wanted to ask a question. On. I think. Okay. This one. No, please. Okay, this one. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, it ha the how we got the three x over six that's what i wanted to ask so is the s counted as one x yes oh, okay mm, this because, is the same as one x okay because when when we were trying to group like terms on the other parts the one before this one uh the if there is two a's we do it as a, a square. Yes. Uh -huh. So I was thinking this one to be something like that. But no, this don't... one, we don't have two x. It is one multiplying the x. It is not no. x. If this one was to be x, that would be mm -hmm. x times x. But you have only one here. It is one times x, which oh, is okay. x. OK. Do you understand that? Yes, please, I do. OK. All right. I'll take the last questions, and then if you have any other question, probably uh, when we meet uh, face to face, would we'll explain it further. So I'll take one question, Esi uh, Edua Mavis, so that we'll end the session here. Esi Edua, Mavis, I see your hand raised, Mavis. All right, probably it's just the, the so okay. Galaxy A02, we would ask the last question and then we move on. Galaxy, I see your hands raised. All right, so in the absence of any question, we'll close. Um, you can keep all your questions, God willing, um, when we meet in our next face today. I said we'll take the first 10 minutes 
to explain further if you have any issues. So, um, Doc, is Doc with us? Hello, madam. Hello. Yes, hello. Uh -huh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Make him... uh, okay. uh, please, um, my problem with... Uh, Your name what... is Galaxy. Okay, I'm, I'm questioning to Funko Danso. Okay. Funko Danso. Uh, the question you just... Uh, the girl uh, said it about that. Mm -hmm. The last... Yeah. The ex... The X, uh, X over two, the last final uh, point. I don't, okay. I don't get it. I don't, oh, I don't, I don't. Okay, get it. okay. I had X over two because I simplified this. I decide, you know, see, this three can go into six two times. So we have one over two here, which is the same as X over two. Are you with me? Yes, please. I canceled out. So this three, this three is going into uh, six two times, right? Three will go into three one, three will go okay. into six two. So okay. you have, yes, yeah, so it's like one X over two, which is the same as X over two. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. All right. so please, um, I would like to end the session here. All your questions, you kindly note them. And our next face-to-face, uh, -face, I'll give you the opportunity to clarify all uh, issues for better understanding. So, okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Doc, please, um, is the do Dr. Samako with us if he has anything to say other than that we end the section? Okay. Um thank you so very much. Yes, dog. I hope we have finished there. Yes, please. We oh. have finished. So uh colleagues, thank you so very thank much. You, I, I heard someone saying that uh thanking you for uh saving uh his um uh, uh, transport money so we will we will discuss it and see how we can integrate two weeks face to face one week uh, zoom two weeks face to face no one. dog the face to face helps me uh, this thing doesn't help me at all i like the face to face please. no you are not alone <laughs> hello madam yes. Yes. You are not alone, so we are going to have a consensus. That's why I said we will be having a discussion. So okay. for those of you who were not here when I made that announcement, I said, uh, give your input to your um, uh, uh, reps, okay? Uh, uh, you see, face to face, even uh, when it comes to discussing war in uh, Israel and Gaza. People are doing Zoom. So it's time that we, we start learning that. Okay, madam, it's high time we start learning to use social media, to use educational communication tools so that when we find ourselves in real corporate world where you have to hold a meeting and this meeting you, madam, you are the one to chair this meeting uh, for country reps all over the world. You should be able to do it. And where will you get that training from? It's from the university. Okay, so one of the key things now is ability to use uh, the technologies available to us. So we, we have to start shifting from the old school uh, to the new school. And the new school way forward is technology. Mm -hmm. The only thing Doc. is that in Ghana, we are not advanced. For instance- Okay, Doc, so can I come in? Yeah, come in. Okay. So when you are talking about corporate meetings, right? Mm -hmm. And school is different. Physical, no, uh, visual, madam, visual, madam, viewing, madam, 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 visual viewing stays and stays properly. Yes, madam, 
Do you think I've not worked in corporate world before? I am, I am a former director of uh, HR in charge of Echo Bank direct sales agents. And as an HR person who is handling sales agents, I have to make a report using statistics, presenting graphs, people ask for the meaning of the uh, averages and the standard deviations I presented. And I have to do that online. In fact, at that time we didn't have Zoom, it was Skype. We were using Skype. So, Madam, what we need to do is to make sure that what we are doing in the university and not preparatory school or secondary school, the university should be, um, should I say, an incubation hub for corporate practice. So there, is no, there shouldn't be a difference between what university does and what happens in the corporate world. Yes, I know in reality, that's what happens. So, madam, it is digital age, and that is what people are looking for. So if you are coming to, in fact, when you come to the university, that is what's going to happen. Uh -huh. Okay, right now, UPSA has started, and all their master's program are now going blended. You come face to face two weeks, and then you go online. In fact, they have even reversed it. You go online two weeks and come to face to face one week. So, Madam, um, we are not in SHS, or we are not preparing you for SHS. We are preparing you for a university, and that is the way forward, and that is the future of education. Okay, so. I will urge you to equip yourself to be in that situation. As I speak with you, um, some of my bosses are in Accra, Ghana here, and they are actually pursuing Harvard Business School uh, courses. And it's online. Okay. Now, um, colleagues, thank you. Aside that, um, it's 9.34. I will want, I see Galazi's hand raised. Galazi, anything? Okay, I've seen no. Francis Salome's hand up. Any Hi, so good, yes, so good, good, good morning. Good morning. Um, in regards to what you discussed about the face to face and then the blended, about a decision going to be made, yeah. I was uh, trying to suggest that, you know, on the platform, there's a, there's a way you could uh, set up a pool whereby we could uh, do the voting over there if it's going to come from a general page. So it's just okay. a suggestion I want to give. Okay. And maybe okay. we can do okay. it. So, so um, I am old school. So, madam, have you seen uh, what someone has just put out? There is a way of even putting a, a, a poll together and he's an IT survey person. So Francis Sol uh, Salome, I'm an old school, born 1970. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to get myself to that level. So send me um, a, a, a high personal message on that and yes, tell okay. me how, if I make you an admin, you will be able to uh, set it up before I open the page for comments. And um, one of you had been suggesting that we pin some information. Unfortunately, I think the way the page was set up, it's, uh, I'm finding it difficult to pin messages. So um, uh, I'll still be using the admin format. So Francis, send me a, a message. And then I'll discuss it with uh, academic affairs. And then they will talk. Okay. Okay, thank you. So um, uh, let us, uh, there is another thing I want to share with you. Colleagues, 
Um, we, we all have <clears throat> roles we play here on, the, uh, 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 on this program. I am the coordinator. So today, as early as four, four something, I was posting messages, okay? When I posted the learning management uh, system <laughs> issue there, I specifically <laughs> indicated um, contact persons you have to contact. But what I realized was people were rather sending me mails, messages. You see, if I am the one to address that, I would have placed my name there and my number there. The truth is, as Solomon just uh, uh, did expose me, Solomon, who himself is Solomon, who himself exposed me, said, about IT, I'm a bomb. So you see, <laughs> when it comes to IT, I also go to them, Patrick, and then wow. uh, Stanley. I go to them. So colleagues, send them your uh, issues. But take note, when you send them the issues, wait for 48 hours before you start complaining. OK? This platform is not like the normal platform you have with your friend. You send them a message and then the person respond. You are about 138 years. So can you imagine 138 people sending Patrick uh, their concerns? And he needs to go through and report one after the other. You just ask yourself, if you were wearing the shoes of Patrick, and for every message, Patrick need to spend five minutes on it. Multiply five by 100. So we are talking about 500 minutes. Divided by 60 minutes. So look at the hours. And you know, I have just given, and, and I have tasked them to use just 60 minutes to tackle those things. So some of you are sending me emails and I called them, they didn't respond. Like, Madam, hold on. They are to deal with you from five to six. In fact, Stanley, who is on the platform, I am so humbled. In fact, he is a management <laughs> staff. When you go to NAFTI, when they are asking, when the rector and the other people are meeting, he's part of them. He's a director. In fact, Stanley's position is equal to uh, Patrick's boss. So I'm so humbled when I see Stanley uh, helping out with you. That doesn't mean, in fact, some of you are not communicating well. You communicate as if you are in the house. Yes, you are the mother in the house. So you talk to your children <laughs> in the house. Therefore, here to you are told, hey, yes, you are matured, but please. There are some people who were matured before you. Eh? So um, I have received some messages and I was not enthused. I called him and he, they, I didn't receive any response. That is why I'm sending you the message. Then, you know, the time that message came, I was driving. And because mm. I wanted to attend to you, uh, you to make sure that mm. this program comes off without any hitch, I have to park. Can you imagine policemen or these AMA guys coming to block or block my car? So what I will beg of you is this. We are doing everything to make you satisfied. We need no. your patience. Now, for those of you who did not receive messages from uh, academic affairs. It's because of the way I made it. Please, can you mute? Because, uh, for those of you who didn't receive messages, in fact, she is not even listening. When I'm asking her to mute, she is still um, okay. 
for those of you who did not receive uh, messages from um, uh, IJ, or let's say Unimark Academic uh, Affairs and are here, um, there may be hitches, so sorry for the inconvenience, but you are not late because all the previous lectures have been recorded with the exception of, um, I think, English. The first day of English, we missed that. But then um, uh, the, the, the recordings on the learning management system is what she uh, recapped um, during the class. So for those who just uh, logged or joined this page, I will urge you to contact uh, Stanley and Patrick, but be patient, okay? Because when you tell them that you have been admitted, they will take your number and get a confirmation from uh, academic affairs before they will put you on the system. We want to avoid ghost names writing exams for people. So if there is a delay, don't worry. Um, keep on reaching out to them. And so uh, when you send a message to them and after 48 hours, they don't respond, get back to me. Then I will have the grounds to go to Patrick and tell Patrick that Patrick, so, so, and so sent message to you. And it's 48 hours now you've not responded, uh, is there any challenge? And if there is any challenge, we will resolve it and then get back to you. Uh, on this note, I want to ask you to go and rest. It's 9.43, let's take some 30 minutes break. Hey, iPhone, iPhone, can you unmute? Doc, okay. Yes, iPhone, before you talk, I'm going to use you as uh, uh, um, and uh, as a case, maybe from our next Zoom, I will I will put people in the waiting room until people actually enter the Zoom with their actual name. I will not allow them because we have just picked up five people dropped off. And when we interrogated, we realized that um, some of you have shared the link with friends who are not supposed to be here. Is it true that some of you are sharing the Zoom link with unregistered Unimac matured. No, please, no. Hmm? I, I want to beg you, when we share these links with you, it is private. Don't share it with others. So from next week or next time, if iPhone, if you want to be accepted onto the platform, I want to see the name as Apia Felicia. Then I'll go into that, uh, the document I have, locate Apia Felicia, okay? So iPhone, you can talk. Okay, thank you, dog. I actually thought my name was Abdel. I didn't know it has changed. The last time I joined with my name. Okay, I don't know if my question has been answered already or not, but. I, I submitted my forms online. I got the link to join the WhatsApp platform, mm -hmm. but I haven't received the um the other message that shows my confirmation. So that is what I okay. wanted to ask okay. earlier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, most of you, you are not getting the confirmation. Oh, I hear all of you are not getting confirmations. It is pending because you are not Unimac student. You are applicants. And I hear a lot of you are going around telling your friends, hey, <laughs> you're from your Unimac, you're a Unimac student, please. You are 
actually an access student. Until you pass the exam, get your forms, apply. Either IT or IFT, I uh, know IL or IFT or IJ, it will be pending, okay? So don't worry. Uh, Felicia. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, sir, please. Um, I want to ask this quick one, but I, I don't know whether I'm, I'm allowed to ask you. Um, please, I want to know if um, after the examination and when you are being admitted, please, is it is, is the lecture still going to be um, online lectures or we can stay on campus as a regular student? That's what I want to ask. Hello. Hello. Now, on 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 the revision uh, on the week of revision we are going to invite uh, reps of all the three institutions uh, we we are planning that we will give monday to one institution and then we will have a zoom like this so that they will explain all those processes to you but before that um we after the exam those who get A, we have grading A, B, uh, uh, B plus B, uh, C plus C, D plus D. And D is usually 50%. For those who will get A, they will be admitted to the regular university system okay now some of you here based on your performance you'll be given the option to go for diploma so not all of you may be going to degree straight based on your performance in fact instead of saying that we will not admit you for the degree, we will give you that option. And, and uh, where you at the uh, orientation? Yes, please, I always. Yes. And these things were actually uh, reiterated there. So uh, for, for let me use GIJ as, or IJ as an example. As we speak with you, we have some of uh, your colleagues who went through this system last year doing weekend because they felt that they are workers so they cannot come to a uh, weekend school um, uh, no they can't go they can't do regular because the regular is monday 7 a.m to uh, 7 p.m same for tuesday for wednesday for thursday and friday this uh, 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 period, the regular period, will not enable them to work and still go to school. So for those people, they are admitted to the weekend school where they come to school on Saturdays and Sundays, okay? We have now introduced uh, an evening school, but the evening school is just for diploma. So there are some of the mature students who, after the discussion, they realize that they will still, they, they, they are pastors and they are choristers in church. So uh, since they are in Accra, they will prefer to do evening school from Monday to, uh, Friday and their evening class starts four o'clock and ends eight o'clock. Okay, so they do four hours every day from Monday to Friday. So um, this explanation, in fact, your performance will determine whether you go for degree straight or you will uh, we will give you the opportunity to go for the uh, diploma. But hold on, let me explain something to you about the diploma program. 
When you are okay. enrolled on the diploma program, you use two years. In fact, at IJ, Institute of Journalism, whatever is taught in Diploma One is the same thing that is taught in degree level 100. There is no difference. What we teach Diploma Two students, it's the same thing that are things that are taught level 200 degree students. And this is the reason. The reason is that once the diploma student finishes his diploma, we give them the opportunity to come to level 300. And we call that top up. So the level 300 top up, the things they do is the same thing that the level 300 degree people do. In fact, they write the same exams. For instance, logic, I teach basic statistics. My basic statistics questions are the same questions for diploma and degree level 200. It's the same question. Once I was teaching logic and critical thinking, in fact, as for them, they sit in the same class and write. So, when you take the diploma route, you will still graduate the same year with those who went through the regular. But do you know the advantage for the diploma? When you finish your diploma, you get a diploma certificate. And when you enter top up level 300 and you finish level 400, you get a degree. So while the regular students has only one degree communication, you, the diploma student who moved on to top up, you are going to have a degree certificate which is equivalent to the regular uh, student's degree certificate. And in addition to that, you have a diploma certificate. And what most people have been complaining about is when the regular degree student goes to meet the uh, diploma degree student at an interview, the diploma degree student brings his diploma certificate and top up degree certificate. While the degree student will be somewhere doing the, his or her national service, the diploma student adds his national service a certificate to it. And it looks like those who go through the diploma routes end up getting jobs earlier and faster than the regular degree students. So these are nuances which we will bring the career, our career and guidance uh, uh, facilitator to provide you after you have written the exam we will invite all of you for a, um, a Saturday uh, career counseling um, session. And all this will be provided uh, to you. Thank you. Please, I got five minutes. We should be on. Thank you. Uh, we should be preparing for the next class. So uh, the one with Dell, I'm giving you the permission. Send me. Uh, a, a WhatsApp message, okay? Okay, and, no. uh, Zues Villa, I'm giving you that permission. Send uh, me uh, a WhatsApp message. On this note, I want to say thank you so very much. And Patrick, if you can hear me, uh, Engineer pra uh, Patrick, uh, if you can hear me, uh, kindly uh, end this session for all of us so that we can log on to the next uh, uh, class, which is... Um